Hi everyone, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. To get, the, to get the obvious stuff out of the way first, this would be episode 18 of series 24, which would then make it episode 639 overall. And before we begin, I'd just like to tell you this little... Oh no. Tell me. Hamster. Isn't it a bit early for you to be coming in and um, interrupting the show? It's only twenty past... Yeah, it's only twenty past five. I mean, yeah. It's too soon for foul language to be on the show. Fuck you, Any yeah, why are you so damn rude? You don't get to say that. Pardon me. You don't get to say that. Pardon me. You don't get to say that. You are a very naughty hamster. Get back over there, you. Now we can get on. This, this is something I just picked up recently. Um, I was out for a walk the other day. Um, and I just happened to walk past these two friends. who we were talking about their jobs. Um, one of them said how they were from a firm who was looking for new employees. And then that person came and offered me the job, me a job. Knowing I'm not supposed to, I turned it down and walked away. Then a bit further down the street, I saw two other young men. These were dressed in suits. They had name badges. And they introduced themselves and told me what they were all about. I listened to them. And they shook their hand and went on our way. Well, that didn't really happen, but you know, it's time for an animation now, guys. And I will see you after this. I hope Lizzie's all right up there. She's been up there all morning. I'm here, Mommy. Lizzie, my special little lady. Are you okay? Yes I am. Why the fuck wouldn't I be? Lizzie, are you being naughty? No. Why? You just swore, and that's very naughty Lizzie. Fuck. A swear word? Yes, it is a swear word, and you are being very naughty by saying it all the time. Stop it, or you'll go to bed. Sorry mommy. That's okay, just don't say any more bad words. I won't. Why are you being naughty today? I thought it was normal for kids to be naughty sometimes. Of course it is. Silly me. That felt good. You haven't wet yourself have you? Yes you have. That is really naughty. I will not have it. You. Are. Going. To. Have. To. Have. A nappy on, you naughty girl. Okay guys, that was our animation. Jason will be here for you soon, but um, not just yet. 
now, guys. I just want to do something that may make you laugh. Let's just try, shall we? <laughs> You'll probably want to know why I did that, but I'm not going to dis I'm not going to tell you. That'd be disclosing information I don't want to disclose. So, now I think I should bring Jason on for you guys. See you when he's gone. Okay, Jason, thanks for taking the time to spend with us, and welcome, Michael. Your debut will be in the next episode. Okay, guys, a little sooner than expected, but that's now Jason gone, and Michael has arrived. I'm not sure how long we're going to keep him on. We'll just have to wait and see. So... I'm afraid that's going to be it for this episode, and I'll see you again next time.
Good evening, guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. Get the obvious stuff out of the way first. This is episode 75 of series 24, which will make it episode 696 overall. And now, let's get on with the show. Now, I was just minding my own business. I mean, walking through the woods um, one Sunday afternoon. When I happened across what looked like a burnt and broken car. But when I went in for a closer look, I realised it wasn't just that. Because in the driver's seat, on me, on me, there sat a tramp. Now this tramp wasn't your wasn't your everyday tramp. For one thing, on me, he was smartly dressed, and he had a briefcase. So what tramps do you know who are smartly dressed and have briefcases? Well, it's what I thought was a tramp. But when he emerged from the car, I saw that he was actually a businessman. And he was out to recruit some new employees to his organisation. So, I stopped, I talked to him. He introduced himself as Michael Allen Sugar and he told me his company popularized home computing in the 1980s so and then he also offered me a job working for his company the next thing I knew I was on a reality TV show called The Apprentice applying for the job undergoing weekly business tasks except that's right there's always an except or a but except three weeks in he pointed the finger at me and told me you're fired Of course, the story is not true. I never worked for Alan Michael Sugar, Lord Sugar. I've never worked for him. Um, and I never will. But what is true now, guys, is you're about to see this and uh, this animation. Take a look at it. I had a good night, and now it's time for me to come and change your bottom. Change my bottom, but I'm not wet or messy. Not to clean you up, but to put a nappy on you. A nappy. That's right, you're going to be in nappies today. Why? Because I said so. So it's time to put your nappy on. You will be changed when you need it. That's Hella getting her nappy put on. I can't help wondering why mom wants nappies on her. She doesn't wet or mess herself anymore. There, all changed. Nappy on, and very happy. I'm eight, and don't need nappies. You do today, and you're going to use them. No toilet trips for you. I wet myself. Come on, sweetie. Let's go and change your nappy. Okay, guys, that was our animation. Now, hmm. I've got good news for you guys. Michael is able to make it today. He's been off for a long time now. I don't think he's going to stay with the company that much longer. Because of all the time he's been taking off to go to conferences and stuff like that. 
I think he may be close to announcing his retirement from the show. When that happens, you'll see another character transformation. We hope that doesn't happen too soon, though. In fact, here he is, right here, and right now, just for you guys. Because I like you a lot. Don't take that too serious. Here he is, guys. Okay. Now, I've just returned from being away a very long time. The conference turned into a holiday. Hmm. Now, seems I have no... What am I talking about? A cowboy is my assistant manager. He will be taking over when I'm gone. I have not decided I'm going to do this. And hopefully I will be going too soon. But I feel the power of retirement starting. So, I'll say this. I hereby announce my silence from the company. Oh, as its manager. Texas Move over, serial killer. There's a cowboy in charge of the company now. Texas Branding is the name. And company management is my game. Yeehaw! Wow, Michael retired so soon after coming back. So now we have Texas Branning in the manager's chair. Let's see how he does and how long he lasts before he hands the job over to someone else. Welcome Texas. And thanks Michael. And thank you guys for watching. Join me again next time. Which will be tomorrow at some point. Until then, take care.
Hi guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. Now guys, 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 before we move on with the episode, I'd just like to point out something very serious for you for a moment, to you for a moment. We are now 15 episodes away from 800, yes, the big 8 double O. getting so ridiculously close now it's time to move on with the episode and uh, oh boy have I got an exciting bit of news for boo well not really because I've just told you it but okay It's time to start with a game, I think. One where the sound won't pick up as copyrighted music. So let's do this. What do the letters in LTD in a company's name stand for? Label, locked, limited, looted. How many planets are there in the solar system? 10, 8, 12, 9. What comes in sizes A3, A4 and A5? Guns, televisions, paper, carpets. What substance gives human blood its distinctive red colour? Oxygen, hemo hemoglobin, albumin, insulin. Oh! No, I don't. So kindly get out of the way. sake there we go and now guys check out this animation it's time to start a brand new day la 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 someone sounds happy this morning mum what are you doing standing there I'm here to tell you we're going on a family outing We'll be leaving after breakfast, and once you're in your nappy. Mum, I'm a big girl now. I think you can trust me to use the facilities provided. As I said, you're wearing nappies on our routing. Mum, Millie never wets herself. Stop treating her like a baby. Okay guys, that was our animation. I do apologise for the plot, mm, right. Okay guys, as you remember, Texas Branning left at the end of the last episode, and I ended it on a cliffhanger. Now it's about to be revealed as to who his replacement is. Check this out. Fire in the hole! Wait a minute, where am I? I appear to have left my boys behind. Oh! 
Oh boy. Yes guys, that was your introduction to our new character Fireman Fred. There's one for the kiddies, there you go. At last, eh? <laughs> and I will be seeing you next time. Hi guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. The chill out still continues, this time with episode 27 of 64. Long and short of it. And now we're going to get on with the show. Because the long and short of it is... Get back to work, Umpa Lumpa. Anyway... Let's now just focus on the show and Kenny, what do you want? Come on, mister. Come on. What could be so important that you have to interrupt this? Don't say nothing because there must be something. Don't lie to me. I'll just ask Applejack for the honest answer. Don't think I won't. He's gone. Well, good, because we don't want to be annoyed by him anyway. So. <laughs> so now, let's get to it. And that would be because uh, it's time to see this animation. That's Olivia down for her nap. We must all be quiet as mice. We don't want her waking up. We don't yet. Okay, you three, go and amuse yourselves quietly. It is now 1995, and I am now 31. I am now nine. I am now eight. I am now seven. And Olivia here is now eight weeks old. I'm now fifty-seven. I'm now fifty-five. I'm now thirty-nine. I'm now twenty. Lucy and I are now thirty-six. And going strong. And I'm now seventeen. 
Blimey. The last year has gone by quickly. I'm now 56. Tell me about it. I'm now 58. I'm now 37. I'm now 34. And I, Mr. Multiple am now 51,995. An immortal like you shall live forever. We shall all be immortal. I've got someone I'd like you all to meet. This is my associate and fellow guardian, Miss Sunshine. Blimey. How lovely to meet the second guardian. She's 50,979 years old. It took Mr. Multiple 2,000 years to find me. I was 16 when I first joined him. You do look good for your age. Thank you. Miss Sunshine. This is Lily and her baby daughter Olivia. I'm Darren Stratton. This is my wife Sarah, our son Roscoe, and our daughter Lizzie. It's very lovely to meet you all. And you, my dear. You still have the rest of the Barrats to meet, Miss Sunshine. Meet my two older daughters Lizzie and Shelby, and my son Mason. What very sweet kids you are. How lovely to meet you. We are so honored we are to meet you, Miss Sunshine. So very honored indeed. To meet the second of Aldershot's immortal guardians. Mason. All of us guardians are immortal. We shall be immortal. In order to become guardians you need to have the protective spirit. Which we do. Yes, but Roscoe. There are three preteen kids here. We can't make them immortal. It is against guardian law. We have the protective spirit though. That may be, shall be, but according to guardian law, persons under 16 must not become guardians. It's for their own safety, as it's a dangerous job. However, if you adults wish to join us you must be chosen and then sworn in first. Okay, kids. Take Olivia and leave us in private please, Lily Rose Barrett, and all of the Stratton clan. I. Miss Sunshine hereby bestow upon all of you the mark of guardianship and choose you all as new guardians. As of now, you are all immortal, and shall live forever. Any questions? What if we find someone who is in so much danger that the only way to protect them is to sacrifice ourselves? There is an escape clause that we can use if such an emergency arises. You must all now take the oath and agree to the guardianship clause. Do you all swear to use your new powers to protect anyone you may see who is in danger? We do. Do you only swear to utilize the escape clause when of in true need? We do. Before we officially welcome you all among us, you must create secret identities for yourselves, for your own protection. Change your names. From this day forward, I shall call myself Miss Sweetie. And we shall call ourselves the ultimate secret agents delectable, sugar treacle, reasonable and lovely. Perfect, except you can't let it be know you're secret agents. On that note, we are the ultimate clan. Mr. Ultimate. Mrs. Ultimate. Master Ultimate. And Miss Ultimate. Ultimately perfect. Welcome all to all the shots guardians. As guardians, you are immortal and can appoint new guardians. No children allowed, otherwise you will be arrested and sentenced to a lifetime ban. Okay guys, that was episode 9 of A Tale of Two Family. Appointment to the Guardians. It shows there, uh, Lily and the rest of the adults being appointed to the Guardians and becoming immortal. Leading to Shelby's jealousy. Anyway. <laughs> Fireman Fred can make today's episode. It's been a couple of episodes now, or well, more than that, since his last appearance. So let's see what he's got in store for us this time round. Hello folks, Fireman Fred here. Me damn helmet is all wonky.
a lot to do because I can't keep doing that. This is becoming a thing. A massive pain in the neck because I need this to be on straight. And so I'm afraid I must extinguish myself. Maybe not then. A uh, false alarm, folks. I'm still here. What? I don't know what makes it keep spazzing out like that. But clearly, very clearly, it's not my time to go yet. That's why it keeps almost happening and then I am gaining control of it back. Because obviously it wouldn't be that problematic. <coughs> it wouldn't be that problematic. <coughs> See what I mean? He's trying to creep out, but then I'm always able to gain control of it back. <coughs> What's happening now? Uh, 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 no. Uh. 
clearly someone's got a fireman extinguisher and it's trying to extinguish me. That was some spaz attack. <sighs> and now, I've got to get over it <laughs> simply because. Um, wait just a second. This ain't no fireman's hat. It's a sailor's hat. Thank you, Captain Obby. What's happening to me?
The name is not Fireman Fred. It is Captain Obvious. And this is obviously my new incarnation. Whoa, okay. Thank you, Captain Obvious, and welcome. Well, I'm afraid it's gone. Captain Obvious has arrived. Okay. Before we round off this episode, though, it's time to take a look at this. Live from wherever you are right now, it's the news! Hi, I'm James Barrett and this is Nightly Newscast. Apparently today, a young boy was caught lying to his parents so badly that he started growing hair all over his body until it covered him. And when he started telling the truth, it started to go back to normal. And he lied again, and it just outright grew again. Strange cases like these don't normally happen, but it has uh, it has done today. I've been James Barrett. This has been your nightly newscast, and until tomorrow, good night. And that's the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with episode 28 of the Chill Out. Until then, take care. And the Chill Out is now 27 episodes down. With 37 to go.